here comes the very important if you want to take a screenshot or else it's already available in your dashboard you can go through that the designing of training program 99% of opportunities in instructional designs are now on this one developing the course for the training developing the course for the training or the developing designing the training module or the training program training course they will say 99% of the opportunities on this role itself need assessment you know then setting of learning objects identifying the learning styles then identify the learning modes whether it should be virtual physical what kind budget delivery style then audience consideration the audience consideration like selecting audience what kind of audience they are getting what is my audience into that then content development comes into picture then timeline communication of training then the measure during the effectiveness these all are the the parameters that we are being considering in the designing the training program measuring effectiveness is nothing but we will float some assessment whatever the trainings that have been conducted we will float them uh, with the audience audience will also get to know that and in which for example there are 10 questions 10 questions seven questions maximum people attempted they are right there are five students which are they have less than seven now we will get to know that where my audience are lagging out plus it means that either my training has not went effective or else my audience are not actively participated in that one the measuring effectiveness includes overall it will use with respect to audience with respect to training by combining all together we get to know that the entire effectiveness of the whole training but see how we will how we'll understand the training the the training effectiveness like uh, one is feedback for the trainer then the assessments from the the audience both together will get the effectiveness of the training is it clear Thank you.